Hi there. Welcome to Two Family Homestead. My name is Daryl. I'll be your host today. And we're going to go back to the auction in Bucyrus, Ohio. But before we do that, let me share a couple of things that I just happened to find out about Bucyrus, Ohio. Looked it up on Wikipedia. And as you can see on the screen here, they have it up here. It's a small town. It is a county seat in Crawford County in Ohio. And just for those that might be interested, it's about 45 minutes, 50 minute drive from our place to, to get to this location. But there's always some good information in Wikipedia. If I go down through this, let's take a look at business and industry. Because business in this area has it's gone downhill for years and years. But there's a company in B. Cyrus called the D. Picking and Company. It's a family operated manufacturer of copper kettles. Well, that piqued my interest because copper's just a beautiful metal to work with. And typically, a lot of, I won't say typically, but a lot of times you will find big copper kettles in use on different farms and homesteads. So let's take a look at this uh, D Picking Company just for a moment and see what they do. They are very much still in business. These are some of the products that they create. And I want you to just take notice here. They have apple butter kettles all the way up to 75 gallon kettles. They have flat bottom kettles all the way up to 20 gallon. Candy kettles, caramel kettles, mini cheese kettles, as well as many, many other products. So. I don't know if you have a use for a big apple butter kettle or not, but this might be the place to get it. So let's go back because something else caught my eye right out of the corner. In the notable residence, I saw YouTuber. Well, hey, that's what we all are. We're YouTubers. Judson, and I'm sorry, I don't want to butcher it. Let's just say Judson is a popular YouTuber. So I had to look him up. And here he is. He was born in 1976. That makes him younger than my kids. And he's a motivational speaker and a dancer from Bucyrus, Ohio. He produced a video called the evolution of dance and it went viral on YouTube it was uploaded in 2006 and in eight months it had over 70 million views and at that time it was the number one most viewed all-time video on YouTube it was the number one top rated video on YouTube and it was the number three most discussed video on YouTube well, hey, I had to go look at it. And here it is, and I will put the link down below. I'm not going to play it. I don't want to get copyright strikes and all that. But uh, it's it's worth taking six minutes out of your life to, to have a chuckle and look at this video, especially if you're a little bit older. Now, you younger people, I, I, don't, I just don't know what to tell you. But... If you follow like some, some old ways and like to hear some of the older music and stuff, this is uh, it's just a nice video to chuckle. So anyway, all that aside, let's head over to the auction and see what's going on there. I got two, two and a half. Two and a half, two seventy five. Now three done. Three. Three done three. Now three and a half. Now three seventy five done. Three seventy five. Thirty-five, thirty. Thirty-five, forty. 
Oh, stop the train here. Does that happen to you at auctions? Where you get caught up and pay more than you should for an item? Happens to a lot of us. So here's what happens at this grocery auction if you bid too much. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to do $2 each. Thank you, Terry. Let me get a step drink here before we go any farther. How many you want? One. Okay, you heard it. The price was actually lowered to what the seller had to have for the item. In this case, it was two dollars, and that's a, a per item in the in the lot. Keep in mind, at grocery auctions or these wise auctions like this, they have multiple identical products. In most cases, they have a number of cases. And in this particular auction, you're not required to buy by the case or anything like that. Pretty much everything is sold on an individual basis. But the high bidder gets to pick how many items they want and they get first choice at the lot. Now, if the item doesn't bring enough money, the high bidder still wins, still gets to buy what that bidder wants, but they're not dispersed through the auction. So, in most cases, everybody wins, and everybody has a good time. Look, one on you, one on 768, 678. How much are you going to do it for, Terry? Two bucks, come on up, do what you want, guys. We got more of every kind but the kids. <laughs> Did you get one or two? One. 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 one.